Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the standard deviation, variance, and mean for this given data set for two scenarios. One scenario is going to be for a population, and the second one is going to be just a sample. So in the very first step, step number one, we are going to find the mean. And here is the mean formula. It states sum of all data values divided by total number of values. And these are our values over here. Let's go ahead and find the mean right now. It's going to be, let's add up all these values. 25 plus 26 plus 32 plus 37 plus 40 divided by total number of values are 5. On the top, on the numerator, if we add all these values, it turns out to be a 160 divided by 5. That is going to give us 32. So thus our sample mean is 32 and also the population mean is 32. So the mean for both sample and the population are always same. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that the sample mean is represented by X bar whereas the population mean is represented by mu. So thus in our case x bar is going to be 32 and also mu is going to be 32. And now in our next step, step number two, we are going to calculate the population variance. And for that purpose I have listed all these values in this table as you can see in this column. And one thing just keep in your mind that these data values are represented by X. And here is our second column in this table and this column is for mean which is same as X bar. And from the previous step, we already figured out mean equals to 32. So I can go ahead and just write down 32 in this column across the board as you can see. And now in this next third column, we are going to find the difference x minus x bar. That means we're going to subtract 25 minus 32. If we subtract this thing, 25 minus 32 is negative 7. 26 minus 32 is going to be negative 6. And likewise, this is going to be 0. This is going to be 5. And this is going to be 8. And now in our fourth column, we are going to square whatever we got in our third column. That means we're going to square negative 7. If we square negative 7, that is going to give us 49. And if we square negative 6, that's going to be 36. Square of 0 is going to be 0. That's going to be a 25. And that is going to be 64. And now in our next step, we are going to add all these values in this fourth column right now. Let's go ahead and add them. If we add them, we're going to be using this sigma notation. So this is going to become sigma of x minus x bar square. And one thing, just keep in your mind that this sigma is this notation is called sigma and that means sum or sometimes we call it addition. And if we add these values that turns out to be 174. And here is finally our final product 
where I put down all these values nicely. And since in this step we are using the population over here, that means our population mean is going to be represented by mu. What that means is here x bar is being replaced by mu. So I can write this as sigma of x minus mu square is going to be equal to 174. Just keep in your mind. And now we can easily calculate the population variance by applying this using this formula. Right? And over here this population variance is represented by lower sigma square. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate this thing. So population variance sigma square equals to the, in our case, this sigma x minus mu square we figured out right up here which is 174 so I can write 174 divided by as you can see we have a n uppercase n is the population size and in our case the population size is number of these values are 5 so I can divide it by 5 so that means sigma square turns out to be simply 34.8 so thus our population variance turns out to be 34.8 and now in our step number three, we are going to calculate the sample variance. And here is our sample variance formula. S square equal to sigma of x minus x bar square, which in our case is 174 divided by n minus 1. In our case, this lower case n is the sample size. So let's go ahead and calculate now this uh, sample variance represented by s square equals to, we know that this sigma of x minus x bar square is 174 divided by n in our case is number of these values are 5 minus 1 so s square is going to be 174 divided by 4 so that is going to give us 435 so thus our sample variance turns out to be 43.5. And now in our next step, step number four, we are going to calculate the population standard deviation. And we know that the formula, the standard deviation is just simply the square root of the variance. And from our previous step, we already figured out the population variance, which is 34.8. So let's go ahead and find the standard deviation for our, this population is going to be just simply the square root of 34.8 and if we take a square root of simply this 34.8 that is going to be simply 5.9 so thus our population standard deviation turns out to be 5.9 and here in our final step we are going to calculate the sample standard deviation 
and here is the formula for sample standard deviation and we know that the standard deviation is just simply the square root of variance and we have already calculated sample variance from our previous step that turned out to be 43.5 so that means our standard deviation is going to be a simply the square root of 43.5 and if we take the square root of that one that is going to give us 6.6 .6. thus our sample standard deviation turns out to be 6.6 .6, and that is our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye